It may sound a little cheesy and maybe even corny, but the quality of your life is pretty much dictated purely based off your perspective. It makes sense to say that if you only choose to see the bad stuff in your life, then you would perceive your life as bad. But if you choose to only see the good, then your life would be pretty great. And that doesn't mean writing off bad things that are in your life and say they don't exist, but you can merely acknowledge them and choose to only focus on the good because what really matters is what you're focusing on. If you're focusing on bad, your life will be bad. If you focus on good, your life will be good. And this way of thinking takes a long time to implement. I've known about thinking this way for maybe two years now since I was 18. And only since a month ago did I start actually realizing that I'm subconsciously applying it to everything now. I used to wake up every day accounting all my curses and now it feels like I wake up every day just excited because I have so much blessings. And it's not something that happens overnight. It will take a lot of time to work at. But the thing is, that's the most fun part is that that greatness you feel in your heart when you finally realize that a thinking pattern that you always wanted to adopt, it's finally happening and you just realize it. And if you want me to go more in depth to, with how this works is I look at a situation, right? And see that, man, it really sucks that I'm 20 years old and I still live in my mom's house and that I spent two years working on my YouTube channel rather than projecting myself forward in life and staying committed to a job and making enough money to where I could put myself in a good place in life. Or I can think this way, dude, I am so lucky to be living in my mom's house right now because it's economical. I'm not paying as much as I would to live in an apartment, which is a cheap apartment out here is 1000 bucks a month. And that there's kids that are 15 that have to go out and live with friends because they can't live with their parents, right? I'm so lucky. And the fact that I was so privileged to live two years of my life without having to do any work beyond paying for rent which was only four hours a week something I didn't even consider work I got to do I got to follow a passion full-time who gets to do that I am freaking lucky as heck this took a long way to focus mainly on the good of a situation because for a long time what it would be was while working on this mindset I would always think okay well this I would be all down and thinking oh man this situation sucks bro and then I'll look at the positive side. I will. Yeah, well, there's this good thing. And then I would always end the sentence with, but I would say, but the situation still sucks. That's a clear indicator that I was so focused on the negative when you can go and eventually you want to get to the point where you just leave it off on the good part. A bad negative thought comes to your brain and then you're like, shoot out of here. I got this good stuff. All right, you can't just have a pros and con list and only look at the cons. No, you gotta see the pros too and then stick with the pros. That is not how pros and cons list work, but hey, can't think of anything better to say. <laughs> Anyways, life is good, life is great. It's a privilege to live, man. It really is. And I hope that a lot of you guys out there can keep on working on yourself and becoming better because there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's great to see. Thank you for watching.